Hi everyone and welcome. I'm so glad you can join me tonight. I love the, our Monday evenings together and it's a Monday evening of just um, crafting and sharing of ideas and encouraging one another and just having fun. So welcome and I'm glad you can join me and as we go down to my desk um, how about sharing one thing you've done in the last couple of days. So for example, maybe you were, had a picnic, or maybe you mowed the lawn, or maybe you made a craft, or something like that. Just share one thing that you've done. Um, so we had a rainstorm last night, and our gutters were overflowing, so my husband said, well, we need to clean some of our one portion of our gutters out today and I said yep I, yeah, I'll do that well he was going to climb up the ladder and you know that he's not quite ready to do that yet he's doing well but not quite ready so one of the things I did in the last day or two is I cleaned gutters so that they wouldn't overflow during our next rainfall so what is one thing that you have done so share that as we go down to my desk and we'll get set up for tonight. So hopefully you're, it was a little more exciting than cleaning gutters, although I have to admit the amount of stuff I took out of the gutters, um, the water was draining beautifully afterwards. There we go. We just need to make sure that I can see your comments and I hope that's happening here. Hi everyone, I'm seeing people join on and that's super, 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 I love it. Okay, and why isn't it showing up here? Well, we'll find that later. Sometimes it takes a minute to, to get going. So I just wanted to mention, um, June is over half over. So, oh, Sherry, you went out for lunch with your red hat ladies. Well, that, that is fun, I'm sure. Um, my mom was a red hat lady for many, many years and she just loved it. So I'm sure you had a lot of fun and there might have been a little, little laughter or something along the way, right? Um, so just a quick reminder that the, uh, June is nearly over and the end of June means the end of this catalog, the January to June mini catalog. Everything in here that is not in the new annual catalog is retiring. Some of it is already sold out. It is um, while supplies last now, and I know different things have sold out. So do make sure that you get what you want from there. Um, it's also some really good sales, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. Oh, you weeded. Yeah, that's the joy of summer. Karen, it truly is. And normally my husband loves to weed. Um, in fact, he gets up early and goes out there. He just loves it. And he's not supposed to be doing that right now. So basically I am on patrol trying to keep him from hurting himself. So uh, one other thing I wanted to mention um, was this the BOGO sale and we had a discussion at the kitchen table or, uh, last night because the grandkids were over and somebody mentioned BOGO and the nine-year-old proceeded to say to explain what BOGO meant. Well what BOGO means is buy one get one and sometimes it's free but this is one 50% off. It's an amazing amazing deal on the kits. So um I think that perhaps you would want to take a closer look at it. The little robots here make great kids' birthday cards. These would be for all ages. And not all of the kits are not just cards. Some of them are, are kits like this magnetic board, which I did a video on um, back a ways. So I'm going to have to find it and post it. The magnetic board has these clips that come with it. You can change the background paper. This is a magnet. You get tons and tons of cards and pockets and uh, punch outs and things. So what you don't want to use on your board, you can use on cards and that kind of thing. So there's just tons. Oh, I even have a card on mine from some time. And remember this rainbow stuff is retiring. This paper is retiring. So 
do take a good look at that. Okay, so just wanted to make sure that you know that and you might be saying, well, where do I find the kits? I've mentioned it before, but some of you are new right now. And so if you go to my website, um, lillian.stampingup.net, and you'll get a screen come up and you'll see three lines likely at the top. So if you click on those three lines, what's going to drop down is this kind of menu here. And then if you look down, you will find kits collection. If you click on that, you'll be able to see the kits and you might say, well, how come they're not in the um, catalog? It's because the kits tend to only last for a certain time. Once they sell out, they're gone. So you, uh, they, they, uh, how do I say this? I'm stumbling over my words. They, their lifespan wasn't long enough to put in the catalog. So they thought that it would be easier to do it this way. So do check them out. It is, um, there are some super kits there. Some are all inclusive, which I'm thinking that I'll give some as uh, birthday gifts, that kind of thing. And some are you add stamps and that thing separately. So all inclusive means the adhesive, everything's in them. So it is perfect. All right, speaking of gifts, Father's Day is coming up, but it's also the end of the school year. So people are thinking about gifts for teachers, for coaches. You might be thinking of just a little something for an everyday hero in your life. So Stamping Up has a little promotion going on right now to just to recognize the everyday heroes in your lives. And then when you do, if you share it with hashtag share your moment and also hashtag everyday heroes, um, then we will all be able to share in that experience. So I thought I would tap into that idea tonight and we're going to Make a project that can be a card or it can be a gift. And so we'll just do that. Uh, we're going to hop in right now. We're going to start with this designer paper here. Now, this is one of the designer papers that's retiring the end of this month. And I love this uh, paper. I love these designs, but I also love that on the other side, they're all wood grain. And you can sponge these and change the color um, all that kind of thing. This paper is on sale. It's on sale uh, for $14.17. Uh, I'm going to stop right now and just share some other papers that are on sale. The Hay Sports Fan uh, Designer paper is on sale for $7.85. That's a real good bargain. Here's a card I made with that. Um, flowering Fields. I know many of you are in love with the Flowering Fields Designer paper. It's on sale for 11.02. Oh, I forgot to look at the back of these. Um, Sweet Talk is on sale for $7.87. Look at all these designs. Wonderful. Abstract Beauty, um, and I just offered a class in this, um, is on sale for $10. And uh, New Horizons is sold out, so uh, that's I've been a favorite. So Symbols of Fortune, so that was the one that was on the magnetic board there. It's on sale for $10 and it's at one of the specialty papers. Um, Artfully Composed is on sale for $14. So if you like designer paper, and you might like it even more after tonight's class, um, you might want to check that out. So I'm starting, um, what I'm doing here with this is I have made it so it will fit in an envelope. If you wanted to make this project bigger, you could make it six inches instead of five and a half. You could make it as long, wide as you want and still follow the scoring um, that I'm doing. So this paper is five and a half by 12 and it's scored at four and a quarter, seven and nine and three quarters. So let's bring in our Simply Scored. And let's turn that so I can read it. So four and a quarter. Now when I was making one of the samples for tonight, I scored it incorrectly. So I'm watching carefully. Seven and nine and three quarters. So there we've done the scoring. 
Do you need this? You don't have to use that. I just find it easier when I'm doing multiple scores. And for those of you who aren't sure, that's called a Simply Scored. So what we're going to do tonight is we are going to make something called a stuffed envelope, or um, sometimes it's called a loaded envelope. And those of you who were at staycation, you know that I made a loaded envelope that was bigger than this, and we had a lot of fun uh, loading it full. So this is the four and a quarter section. We're going to fold up here lining up the edges, bringing in our bone folder like that. Then we're going to fold back on this one, lining up the edges. And then we're going to fold up like that, lining up the edges and burnish it. So we've made some pockets here. Now you might say, well, maybe I wanted it to go the other way. Well, you could just reverse fold it and it would work just fine. It would look like that. But I've sort of designed it to go this way. So we'll go back to that fold and I'll just burnish those folds again, just so that they're nice and sharp. Now, basically, this is what it's going to be. Um, and it's going to depend what you're stuffing in your envelope as to how thick you want it to be. I am not going to put adhesive on the sides. You could. I'm not going to, but I do want it to be able to, to hold it together and I want it to know that it's going to be able to hold something. So I'm going to stick something in there for bulk right now and I'm just grabbing an ink pad because it's handy and how I'm going to hold this closed is just by wrapping ribbon around it and tying a knot. So we'll put the ribbon here and this ribbon is also retiring. And I love this denim ribbon. It's perfect for all kinds of projects, particularly ones for the guys in your life, but they, it works for everything. I'm a blue jean kind of girl. So it, uh, it just has that look. And it works with Knight of Navy and so many of the others. I'm not tying a bow. I'm going to tie a knot because if I decide to give this to a guy, uh, a knot seems to be just, I don't know, a touch more masculine than a bow, right? So I'm going to just snip that away there and there. And I could fray that and make it look a little more rugged if I wanted. But basically now I have made my envelope. All it, I have to do is decorate it and then um, stuff it or load it or whatever you want to say. So let's see, what am I going to put on here? What I have um, thought I would do was to stamp something on, on here and then layer it on like that. And so where am I getting these pieces from? I'm using what, that wonderful stylish shape set of dies, this one right here, and I got those pieces. And I thought, yeah. And then I brought in a stamp set that is retiring as well. This one here, and it's got, it's called Happy and Heartfelt. It has got so many wonderful words on it, and I love the font. So we are going to bring in Being Awesome is just your thing. So pretend that I've stamped it already. So there we go. We're going to stick these two together. I've got a few components to this project, so that's why I am uh, I pre-did some of this stuff. So let me do this on here in case I got my glue in the wrong spot. And I'm making this so it goes like that. And now I want to put it on here with dimensionals. And I want the dimensionals to straddle the ribbon. So I'm going to slide this down just a smidge. So if I put my dimensionals on, I can put one above the ribbon and one below the ribbon, and I'll still be able to move that knot around. Um, the ribbon won't push this up. All will be good. So there we go. And just like that, I've made a little decoration for the front and we'll add some embellishments at the end. Now what am I going to put in the pockets? 
you can load or stuff these pockets with all kinds of things. You could put um, movie vouchers and popcorn in. You could uh, put snacks in, um, all kinds of things. But what we're going to do tonight is we're going to do just a little photo thing to put in here, like um, just, it's a mini little photo thing. Um, I don't know about you, but when I have worked with different groups of people and they've given me pictures um, at the end, that has meant so, so much. And if your child is on a sports team or if your husband has been playing with the grandchildren and you've snapped some pictures, Take the time to print them and they will be proudly put on display, I think. So I took some Knight of Navy and it's five by eight and I scored it at four. So it will fold like that. And those measurements are because then it fits in here nicely and still has a bit of a border all the way around. So what we're going to do with this, we are going to bring in Oh, we'll bring in some photos. This one was cut down so that it would still fit on here. I'm going to bring in my seal. There we go. And I'm just doing it temporarily because I robbed some pictures off of my husband's wall and I do need to return them. But um, there we go. So there's a picture here. Here's another picture here. I could put another picture here and another picture here and you could just keep going like that. And then, so you've got some little photos to um, stuff your envelope with. And then you've got another pocket here. So now here's where we're going to get a little more personalized. So I started with a four and a half by nine and then I scored it at three and five eighths and seven and a quarter. And the three and five eighths is just so that it, um, again, fits in here nicely. So it's going to go like that. And this is going to hold a gift card. So let's take this off. And because it's going to hold a gift card, I would really like it to have a little, well, I'm going to call it a divot taken out of it. So I'm going to bring in these dies again. And I'll take one of these small circles. And I'm just going to cut a little bit out of it like that. So we'll bring in the stamp and cut and emboss machine. And you can see that I'm just putting part of the circle on the paper and I have centered it roughly. I haven't haven't worried about it too much. Maybe maybe there. I'm going to put even less. Just a little bite. Whoops, it slipped. There we go. Too much stuff in the way. And it's even stitched. So that is great. Now to make the little pocket, I'm just going to run a little bead ooh, of glue down here and a little bead of glue here. This way I'm leaving as much room as possible for a gift card or money or whatever. This would make a great graduation gift or um, wedding or whatever. Just change the paper and change some of this other stuff. Speaking of weddings, I have to make a special 50th wedding anniversary card and I'm kind of stumped. So if any of you have ideas, I'd love it if you shared it. So there we have the little card and what it's going to do is it's going to fit in this pocket, just like that. And then it's cut, the measurements are such that if they're all lined up, they have, they just layer nicely. But let's dress this one up. So I took some more of that paper, so some of the paper that I cut off, and then I ran it through the timber embossing folder. I figured that was just far too appropriate. So I've done that. We're going to stick that down here. And we'll 
we'll do just center it there. And then we're going to, let me see, this says being awesome is just your thing. Now let's just look at this. Should we put thank you or we have to celebrate this? Ah, we'll go with we have to celebrate this. There it is right there. And we'll just stamp that. Living dangerously, usually I stamp and then cut. I don't usually cut and then stamp, but that worked out okay. So we've got that like that. We can put this on here. I could layer it on another piece of navy. I just didn't have it cut, but we'll put it on here for now. And you can dress these up as much or as little as you want, of course. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Sometimes I forget my plan and I can still do it. We're going to put this here like that. Then we're going to bring this ribbon in and thought I had it cut, but maybe I didn't. I'm going to bring in my ribbon scissors. The scissors dedicated strictly for ribbon. I'm going to cut a couple of little tags of ribbon and tuck them in somewhere in there. That, that'll work. So I'll bring my glue dots. Where did I put them? Here we go. So we'll put them together first. I think that will be easier. And then put another glue dot on the bottom. And just slide it in like that. We've got that taken care of. Now we need a few embellishments, I think. So we have the brushed metallic. Oh, I think that's going to look pretty nice. There's also the rustic metallic. I think I'm going to go with the brushed. So we'll bring in some of these and And there we go. Oh, they just finish it off, don't they? There, so we've got it like that. And then when we open it up, you can put a gift card in. So for example, if you were, oh, buried my gift cards. If it was a coffee gift card, we could have put um, even some coffee snacks up here. That might have been where we did this. If it's a, a book gift card, well, what could you put? You could have also included bookmark, made a little bookmark, a little notebook, that kind of thing. If it's for stamping stuff, a gift card, then you can always add a few little embellishments and packages of embellishments. That kind of thing would look nice in there too. So we'll leave that there. Now for in here, I use the stitch rectangles because we've still got some stitching going on. We've got this. I had a scrap of this left over and I thought it might tie things together. So let's see if we went like that. I think that would finish the inside. So let's go like that. I love using the scraps of designer paper and throughout the project. So always look to where you can add just a little touch here and there and it just makes it all fit together and then of course you can put it on your envelope. So there we've got that like that. So that's going to go in here just like that. And then we're going to embellish this. So a little bit's peeking out there but let's Let's add a bit more. We can never have too much, right? Okay, we'll just think. Put one here, one here, 
and you know what I think I should have put the bigger one down here for a little variety and this one here there some of you are laughing you say you just put it down Lillian so there you go so there is a little mini loaded or stuffed envelope I'm going to show you some more so hang in there um that that is perfect for celebrating the everyday heroes in your life so have some fun with this and do do give it a whirl now some of you might be saying oh I remember that you did something with envelopes way back about oh in February or so and I will put the link here and if you recall I did took two of our regular envelopes and I fastened them together I think I folded this back and turned it into a card and then you had these two pockets so that would also be perfect for celebrating everyday heroes I will put the link in the description afterwards because it is a fun way of doing that as well then for those of you who were at Stamping Staycation, I did loaded envelopes there, which is the same as a stuffed envelope. And this is a bigger uh, version. So here it is right here. And this has several pockets. And it was this one held um, bar barbecue seasoning and a brush. And then it had this here with a little pocket here and you can write on the back. So there was all of that, and then, uh, where did it go? Here it is. Here was one that I also did, the same style. So this was loaded with stamping supplies, and then a card on the front here. So you can do whatever you want. And if you're saying, well, I missed out on stamping staycation, do you know what? You can still order it. So contact me, and we can give you all the links, and you can see how to make this. And then when I was doing Stampy's Vacation and I fell in love with these loaded envelopes, I made a little mini one too. So you can celebrate the everyday heroes in your life with just a little treat and maybe a tea bag or something like that. So there's that idea. And here's one that I passed out with the new catalogs. But again, it would be perfect for celebrating everyday heroes. You could put a thank you here and it used the same dies as we used tonight. And this one has a chocolate and a tea bag in it. So think about how you can celebrate and thank the everyday heroes in your life and then go have some fun and, and actually do it. It means the world to people. So um, once again, here's the one we did tonight. It's a very simple one that can go in an envelope, um, but you can make them as complicated or as simple as you like. Now, I do have a few more things to show you, a little bit of show and tell. So let's move this out of the way. Uh, it's going to fall on the floor. Don't want to have that happen. Um, there we go. My Sun Prince class to go. The registration closes on Wednesday and big congratulations to so many that have already registered. It um, involves, whoops, as I dump the whole thing out. Let's just pretend that I'm a little more graceful than that. And we'll start, put everything back in and start fresh. So what you, uh, in the class, you get the instructions for how to make this card holder. And I even show you how to make the little clothespin closure. Um, then when you open it up, there will be four cards and envelopes. So there's two on each side and it works like that. And then I did include a couple of little bonus ones and tons of other ideas. So this is a class to go. This is where you can find out all the information. There are a couple of different levels. You can order the, um, the bundle and the supplies to make everything or just the supplies or just the handout, which has all the measurements and everything and the video. So that is available for you as well. So let's just um, 
share a couple of more things. Oh, I forgot. Well, I'll have to do that later. Um, here is another one using that Sunprints designer paper. And this is just using the paper itself. It's just gorgeous. So there's that. And then my downline did a shoebox swap. So a shoebox swap is where you put everything needed to make a card in a shoebox or a box and um, do enough for everyone participating and then you just each take turns making those cards and these were the cards and these are so neat. So here's a little sneak peek at some paper that's coming in the next catalog. And so there is one of the cards that we made. Here is another one. Oops, I've got the envelope here. So this is using that famous little ladybug. That's so cute. This is the one that I did. So using the deckled edges and the designer paper in there. Here's another one that somebody did that uses the Sun Prince paper. So there was just another sample there. And then another one was this using the Hues of Happiness, that gorgeous, gorgeous suite of products. And then it's a fun fold like that. And they use the die to decorate this panel here. So these flowers are actually cut out of the designer paper. So this came together very, very quickly. So just some more things to get your brain going and having some fun. But can I just remind you, um, as you celebrate your everyday heroes, maybe share that moment and do it's hashtag share the moment or hashtag everyday heroes. Um, everyday heroes. So thank you so much for joining me tonight. Have some crafting fun and just some summer fun. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.